Um, I put this car for sale on uh, Kijiji and um, eBay for $1,500. It's a 1987 Mercedes 560 SEL. It's the big one of that year with all the options. And I've been asked to put a video. They wanted more information on it. So here goes. Here is the, the engine compartment as it sits right now. I have the heads intake and everything off. I had the heads done. The heads are worth the cost right there. We had some new valves put in. They were ground smooth and pressure tested and they are in perfect condition. Checked by E&G uh, Auto and Machine in Estevan. They're in excellent condition. You can call them if you like. But the rest of the vehicle is here. I took everything apart with full intentions of uh, fixing it properly. It was overheating. So um, I wanted to find out why. And it was the head gasket on the driver's side because someone had installed Healy coils. So you're going to have to put in time certs where the uh, Healy coils were. Right there you can see that Healy coils were installed. I hope that focus is fine, but anyway, uh, you have to put uh, time certs in. Or you can drill them out and put uh, Healy coils back in, but I wouldn't recommend that. The car is straight. It rode perfectly. It just uh, smooth as heck. Just smooth. Uh, rode very, very well. The only thing that did not work was the power antenna. Now here's all the parts, the rad, the uh, fuel injection system. You will need to get new bolts for the one uh, head side. And here's the uh, air intake system and the heads of course again. And we'll just look at the inside real quick. Just give you an idea what it looks like. Hope it's all, well, I've got a light on in the back here so you can maybe see a little bit better. But it's in decent shape. It rode very well, 283,000 kilometers, but the guy at the shop in Estevan told me that um, the engine has been done previously. So we can maybe assume uh, 50,000 kilometers on this. There's hardly any wear on the cylinders at all. So it was done, but it wasn't done right. Whoever put the... Uh, Healy coils in, did not do it right, did not tighten it down properly. There is a tear in the seat on the passenger side. Maybe a little bit hard to see, but there it is. Sunroof, everything works. Nothing does not work properly or as it should. The back seat has reclining seats. The heat works. The one switch I was working on over there was the window was having a problem but I got it to work I just haven't finished working on that yet putting it all back together and car comes with tons of parts that I bought to finish it off there's a new water pump there's another intake nozzle there's uh, sensors uh, hoses uh, vacuum control units all everything goes with the car it's as straight as an arrow there's nothing wrong with it that way a few little bubbles as you can see here of uh, rust but the back bumper part is good I mean there's no no cracks in the glass all the emblems are there the front star is not on the hood but sunroof works stereo works good it rode like a dream but after about 30 minutes it started to overheat so that became the problem and now I just have not got the time I've got another project on the go and I will show you the rust back here just on the passenger driver's side there's a piece there totally up front with you on this one 1500 bucks uh, I do have access to another engine for this 
that has 190,000 kilometers on it. It's in Winnipeg and the guy's gonna sell it to me. I can get it here for 600 bucks if you just wanna swap the engine and not worry about it. And you'll have a set of heads that are worth uh, as much as the car. So there it is. You can uh, get a hold of me at my, uh, you can text me at um, area code 306 861 6582 or you can email me at yaahoos at yahoo.com. That's yahoos with two A's at yahoo.com. And uh, you can come look at the car, see in Wayburn, Saskatchewan, anytime. I'm going to be putting it outside soon. It's been inside ever since I got it in this heated garage. So uh, if you're interested in a great project in a fabulous running vehicle with uh, heated reclining seats and the works, I mean, it's got every option available, uh, give me a call or uh, email me. And if you want more pictures, I don't know what you'd want them. It does need tires. These tires, are, there's some ice radials on here that are getting pretty old. Anyway, that's it. I'm done yakking. <laughs> Here's the car. It's all ready for you if you're into that kind of thing. Thanks a lot.